This is a 13 on your side weather update. George, we can hear the heavy rain and thunder above the station right now, and there have been severe thunderstorm watches and warnings throughout the day. Can we expect this to continue into tonight? Just for a little while longer, Juliet, it will be mainly for areas to the south and east of Grand Rapids that will have to worry about the threat of severe weather yet this evening. We still have warnings in effect for Calhoun County. It's for the southeastern one half of Calhoun County, it includes the cities of Marshall and Tecancha up until six o'clock this evening. You can see the heaviest storms are moving out of that area. In its wake, there has been a lot of rain with almost five inches estimated from radar there in East Eastern Barry County. A lot of lightning with these storms as well, including some right outside the station here. That's why we were doing weather inside instead of out on the deck. 13 weather ball is blue, cooler, but not much less humid weather in view coming up for your Thursday. It is also blinking bright. We have more showers and storms in sight for at least the next couple of hours, mainly to the south and east. So you might want to wait a little while. Uh, Stacy and Cyrus uh, Barley, uh, we just want to wait till those showers hours and storms are done. It'll be a very muggy night after those storms leave. We're going to give you the green paw starting around 7 or 8 o'clock and even for your morning walk there in the morning out on Lake Michigan. We are looking at conditions of pretty choppy again today. Two to three footers at the buoys and higher at the beaches, but most of the rain is done there uh, overnight tonight. The winds will gradually come down. So will the waves to around two feet or so uh, beach hazard alert and small craft advisories will be discontinued around uh, four or five o'clock in the morning. Water temperatures are in the low and mid 70s south end of the lake. They're closer to 80 degrees. Uh, we have some uh, wind gusts up around 40 to 50 miles per hour across the region and a new report coming in up around a uh, Woodland Park earlier this afternoon as the storms went through there of uh, uh, some wind damage. But most of the wind gusts have been around uh, 40 miles per hour. One wind gust to 60 there in Battle Creek and also 53 in Kalamazoo. That's where the stronger storms are right now and they are pushing to the east. Uh, severe Thunderstorm watch has been canceled for the Grand Rapids and Holland areas as the storms progress to the east. We got a little bit of a cold front right in through here that will eventually come through later on tonight. So there is still a chance of a pop up shower, but no severe weather anticipated. There goes the stronger storms by seven o'clock near Ann Arbor. They're all out of the state by 11 and you can see later on tonight there could be a very minor pop up shower or a rumble of thunder, but by daybreak skies have already cleared to the north. Now there might be an afternoon shower to the south and east of Grand Rapids, but most most of the viewing area will stay nice and sunny and we'll see lots of clear skies here Thursday night into Friday. The weekend's looking drier now, but not any less humid. From August 11th through the 17th, we have still high chances that we will stay warm here in West Michigan. Average highs are in the low 80s and we'll continue with our dry weather as well. Although we are going to see uh, one more chance of some heavier rain that'll be coming up during the day on Monday, but that's uh, before that time period. Uh, watches and warm Warnings all expired or canceled here along the lake shore. It'll be in the mid 60s up north. The skies will be partly to mostly cloudy most of the night until it clears. Low 70s from Muskegon Holland southward. Uh, you will see most of your showers and storms end very shortly. Up north, there could be a few, especially from Greenville to the south and east. It'll be a muggy night with mid and upper 60s to near 70 degrees. And still for another hour or two, some strong to possible severe thunderstorms, most of them now east of the Battle Creek area. We have a number of flood advisories in effect and that watch most likely will be canceled before nine o'clock as the warnings expire. As far as our forecast, a 13 on your side forecast. <laughs> The 10 day outlook calling for very humid conditions again tomorrow through Saturday. Dew points are not going to drop a whole lot. They'll be in the low 70s, so not much relief there. Again, there's that pop up shower south and east of Grand Rapids on Thursday as we hit 83, 85 under partly cloudy skies on Friday, mostly sunny and 89 Saturday. And we've taken the rain and pushed it into very late Sunday night, more likely on Monday now as we see highs in the low 80s. We'll stay humid through Thursday of next week. It'll be more seasonable though and then finally leading up to next weekend a little bit more comfortable weather will return.
Well, the threat of severe weather has ended here in West Michigan, even though there is some shower and thunderstorm activity. Even the severe thunderstorm watch has just been canceled. 13 weather ball is blue tomorrow. Not quite as hot weather in view and it's blinking bright. Still a few more hours of showers and rumbly thunder, especially off to the southeast early tonight. And this view sponsored by Tullymore Golf Resort. It was a very warm, if not hot today, generally south of I-96 where it made the low in mid 90s. We stopped at 87 here in Grand Rapids, hoping to get to 92, but we only made 87. Did not come within three degrees of our forecast high. First time in 18 days where we have not done that. Headed over to the Coast Guard Festival tomorrow. Much nicer day, partly cloudy in 84, but it will still be rather humid. Dew points will still be in the 70s. Uh, reports of some uh, high winds between 40 and 60 miles per hour, 60 mile an hour winds there in Springfield in uh, Calhoun County, where there was also some wind damage around 520 some trees down there in the Battle Creek region and up near Woodland Park earlier in the afternoon around 1245. All of that activity now moving well to the south and east where the severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect for Jackson and the Ann Arbor area and east of Lansing. We do have a cold front uh, starting to come through the area. There could be a pop up shower along that, but that front's not going to get very far south this weekend, so we're going to stay in the warm and humid stuff. There are the stronger storms near Lansing heading over toward Detroit this evening by 11 o'clock. It's pretty much done. Now there could be a pop up shower later on tonight and then off to the southeast as that front gets a little bit closer tomorrow afternoon, but certainly no severe weather is expected. And after that, we've got sunshine coming up for the upcoming weekend, but there will be some rain on Monday, not Sunday. Now on Monday where there could be another inch or so we could certainly use a little bit more rain uh, for tomorrow, though, mostly sunny north, partly cloudy to mostly cloudy south. Notice the temperature around 80 in Hart and Ludington, 85 in Muskegon, low 80s elsewhere. Up north, you'll be in the low 80s with partly cloudy skies. And here in the greater Grand Rapids area, we could see an afternoon pop up shower, especially south and east of Grand Rapids. Highs in the low 80s. 13 on your side forecast. <coughs> We'll hang on to the very humid weather through Monday, and that's when our next chance of rain will be. Next week, we'll lose the humidity about Friday or Saturday.